That's when imagination moves into inspiration. I begin to, in my daily life, experience that a part of me is living a biography here on Earth, simultaneous to a biography that is in the spiritual world. And the two are connected. But I have to get rid of logic in order to feel the connection. Logic says, forget that, just get a job. Which I need to do. But that's not my whole life. I, I need to have a mission. Without a mission, my life that is compliant soon becomes senseless. Compliance is the way in which programs Theoretical programs are now creating instruments of compliance that are so severe that people in organizations are unable to find creative social solutions. So 60 to 75% of the budget of a typical organization goes to HR issues, human resource problem-solving issues. 60 to 75% of the budget goes to trying to help people speak to each other. Gee, could we do better with our resources? So this speaking to each other, the social will, awakening in the other, is not a given, it's, it's not automatic. It's not something because you are a member of an organization or you are a good person or whatever, it's not automatic. It must be done in the moment all the time. And it's impossible for humans to do it all the time, but we can do it sometimes. Occasionally. And it's in the moments when that occasional social will arises, it takes the imagination to remember that your practice of taking things into sleep. Because we know all this stuff at some level. It's just we have to remember who we really are. That's the fundamental, as I understand it, the fundamental Rosicrucian impulse in anthroposophy is, to, is the ability to take from life pictures and create imaginative inner movements to enter into dreaming. Once I do that, my expectation for getting answers to my questions changes into an expectation of simply getting better questions. Because I savor questions more than answers because my striving is more interesting to me than my gratification. By imbibing huge amounts of knowledge, I have to overcome the knowledge and consciously give it away. Then it's the old Zen thing. I can't fill your bowl. It's already full. It's all, there's not, nothing I can add to it to make it any fuller. So I'd like to finish here with a fairly long quote from uh, Gospel of St. John, chapter 11, Steiner's work, Gospel of St. John, where he's talking about um, uh, Christian Rosenkreutz. And he's talking about this method of training. 
and it's a, it's a little small capsule. Uh, that'll be the first one, and then I'll just segue right into the second one about Christian Rosicrucianism and the initiation. This is an adaptation from Rosicrucianism and Modern Initiation, if you're not familiar with that book. Very good book. So these, I'm, and if you're going to do page and verse, you'll probably find that I'm, in certain sentences, I have dot, 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 and I connect another one. I'm just trying to make a flow. This is not exactly what Herr Dr. Hotke sagt, but it's close. Okay, so just, that's a little caveat. <laughs> okay, so the Gospel of St. John, chapter 11. The Christian Rosen, uh, Rosicrucian method is a training of feeling and the will. The method involves the transformation of the soul through the use of imaginative pictures. The purpose is to cleanse the astral body of its reliance on inner pictures that only arise as a result of sense perception. This happens when the astral body of the student is illuminated by the imaginations that exist in the cosmos. And where you get them is in sleep. Organs of perception for these imaginations must be built by the student while in the awake consciousness so that the astral body in sleep can imprint its experiences on the life body. That's just what I tried to describe to you. This process is called catharsis, release, healing. With catharsis, the portion of the astral body that is illuminated by the cosmic imaginations is called the Virgin Sophia. When the Virgin Sophia, or purified astral body, approaches the cosmic or the universal ego, the light of the universal ego shines down upon the Virgin Sophia and is received by the Virgin Sophia. This illuminating universal ego is known as the Holy Spirit. A person with these capacities loses the human inclination to form opinions. I'll, I'll read that again. <laughs> A person with these capacities loses the human inclination to form opinions. His or her personal ego has been eclipsed and he or she speaks out of cosmic wisdom rather than a personal viewpoint. The most important point about this transformation is to speak without sympathy or antipathy towards one or the other viewpoint. This is really important today regarding the blog sphere. <laughs> so, Christian Rosicrucian initiation adapted from Rosicrucianism and modern initiation. Christian Rosicrucian, under inspiration of a higher spirit, found a way to perceive the reflected radiation of ideas in the astral light. Rolf Steiner is describing that when you go to sleep or when you have thoughts in contemporary life, those thoughts, especially thoughts of science, tend to just go and go and go. They don't, you don't have the feeling like you are in a web of thoughts where there is somehow a connection. So Chris Rosenkreutz found a way to do this. It was brought about in the following way. Other conditions of consciousness, dim and unconscious and sleep-like, were called into play, dream. These are conditions in which the human being is normally outside the physical body. It was discovered by Christian Rosenkreuz that what is described 
in modern abstract ideas of science is after all inscribed into the spiritual world. It's just when it gets here, it dies. But in the spiritual world, abstraction is living. But I have to go there to get it, to experience it living. This is what we find in the Rosicrucian movement. The Rosicrucians made themselves acquainted with all that could be discovered about nature and received it into themselves and assimilated it. But what for others was science, they enhanced into wisdom. Holding it in their souls, they tried, after deep meditation, to pass over into sleep in a condition of the highest possible purity. And it was so that then the divine spiritual worlds brought back to them in a spiritually real language what had been first apprehended in scientific abstract terms. They're transforming the abstraction into living forces. It was the Rosicrucians who realized that what humans receive in modern knowledge must be carried forth, so to speak, and offered back to the gods. This is so that the gods may translate it into their own language and give it back to human beings. The Rosicrucians needed to learn all that can be learned through studying natural science of the day and then carry it back towards the gods and prepare yourself in the right way, such as the connection between the shadowy knowledge that humans can acquire with the physical body and the knowledge that the gods can give back to them. Humans must bring to the gods what can be learned here on earth. The times you see have changed. Let a man strive as he will today, he can no longer draw anything forth from himself as he did in the uh, work of the old initiates. That's the microcosm, the initiation. It all becomes impure and permeated with instinct, as is evident in the case of mediums and such. The time for such creation from within is over and gone. The time has come when humans must recognize that not out of themselves can they find the secrets of the world, but only by so preparing themselves in their heart and in their mind so that they can read what is written in the astral light. This is what we must prepare ourselves for today. Thus, the natural science of today is the true basis for spiritual seership. This is thinking. Thinking is the true basis for spiritual seership. With the knowledge of nature, which we thus acquire from natural science, we can dive into a higher world, and the knowledge we have acquired will come to meet us from higher worlds. As we carry this up to the spirit, and provided we develop the necessary faculties, we do encounter the being of Micaiah.